Hey there, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new features on, on iOS 14 public beta. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, of course, for those of you guys who are wondering how to actually grab the iOS public beta, all you do is go to this website and then you scroll down, you tap on sign up, you follow instructions. Once you're signed up, all you do is go to your settings and then go into general and tap on software update and the public beta download is going to show right over here. All right. Now the first feature is something you're staring at. As you can see, we now have home screen widgets. That's the weather application. That's the calendar application and that's the stock application. Each one of them have their widgets and you can see the widgets on the actual screen. So let's play around with these and see what's happening. So when I swipe this over, on a side screen, I usually have all my widgets. They have all been reshaped and redesigned, so now they look cooler and also they're extremely data rich. So as you look at a widget, it'll give you information inside that widget in relation to that application, all right? Look at that, and if I swipe over with the weather widget, you see what's the weather, the forecast at the bottom with the calendar, you get information on your next appointment, and it also shows you the stocks that you're following uh, on your stocks application. So what I can do is I can press and hold anywhere on the screen, and I get the option to either edit the widget or edit the home screen. So let's tap on edit the home screen real quick, okay? And now we have a brand new interface at the bottom. I can tap on this. I can see all my home screens with all the apps on it. I can disable a home screen if I don't want to see that. And I can click on done. Now I'm going to have four of them. So this one, one of them has been hidden, okay? Again, tap on this anytime to access all your home screens and disable the one that you don't want to see. Now on top of that, let me just click done in a minute. I can also tap on plus here. It brings up my widgets window from where I can choose all these pre-existing widgets and just drag and drop them on the home screen. Just one example, let's just grab this one. So I can grab this and I can put it right here, okay? So that's great, and then I can click on done. Now one more thing, now one more thing I'm gonna show you guys, if I swipe over to the end home screen, I can swipe one more time and that's gonna bring up the app library. Now the app library automatically and intelligently organizes all my apps in these large, easy to access folders. And I can access any one of these applications by simply directly tapping on the actual application. So this folder here is the suggestions folder. It's gonna stay on the top. This one is the recently added applications. And again, the ones that you see that are full icons, I can just tap on them and it's gonna take me directly to that application. Uh, but if you see four tiny apps, that's a folder within a folder. So when I tap on this one, it's going to expand that and then I can access applications from there, as you can see individually. So that's fantastic. Let me, let me go back out over here. All right. And again, these are all populated and created automatically. You don't have to do anything. Suggestions are based on what you use often. And these guys are just at the bottom after second row. What it does is it creates these folders and auto organizes them inside their own respective folders. So here's my creativity applications. Here's my productivity. Here's my social applications. Again, if I tap on one of these guys directly, it just launches the application. But if I tap on the smaller folders, uh, it's going to launch the folder for further applications. So that's fantastic. And you can go all the way down and you have a lot of these guys. Again, all this stuff is done automatically. So that's the app library that sits at the end of the home screen. Now, again, if I press and hold even over here, it brings up the editing options. I can remove applications, okay, as you can see. I can tap on plus to grab, to grab the widgets. Let's see, so I can tap on the music widget. It's gonna expand with all the separate options. So I can have some like this. Let me just press and hold. So I can grab it, I can put it right here. This is just fantastic, all right, uh, for an iPhone. It's been a while, but they finally brought it over. And again, on the side screen, you have all these other widgets. So that's the widgets. And of course, if I don't want any of these, I can press and hold and just remove the uh, widget as I please. And of course, again, if I press and hold and edit the home screen, I can also move it as I please, all right? 
there we go so let's keep it at the bottom looks like I can make folders of actual uh, widgets and I can swipe through the actual folder so there's a lot of options by the way once I create this little uh, double widget area uh, I can actually tap on edit the stack and it can it allows me to edit the stack all right smart rotate can be disabled and all that good stuff so that's that let's move on and talk about other features as well but that's a home screen now let's say you, that you're inside an application and somebody actually calls you let me call myself from another phone and I want you guys to take a look at what happens on the screen you're in the app you're studying something somebody gives you a call and now what's gonna happen is instead of the whole phone uh, the whole thing taking the whole phone the phone application it's on the top I can actually swipe it away or take the call from here so that's brand new let me call myself one more time here alright so let me kill the volume and again I can swipe it away or I can take the call from here or I can swipe it down and it's gonna expand so that's just fantastic new little uh, features of course we have these features on Android for, for a long time but they're coming here now and that's always a good thing so one more thing I'm going to show you guys is the picture in picture view we finally get this option in the iPhone so let me go to Netflix here to demonstrate let's just play something here let's just play this one right over here okay so there's a video that's playing if I swipe up you now have the video on the actual screen I can even resize it put it on the top and I can continue doing stuff on my screen and continue watching that uh, show right there this is just fantastic I can exit out or I can go back to full screen view and if I go out I can also take this and put it to the side for a second so let's say I'm about to do something important right here let's say I'm reading something I can put that to the side it's still playing on the side but when I want to bring it back I just bring it right back I can continue reading and watch that if I so desire or I can exit out and I'm done and then what we have is we have the redesigned Siri so let me just bring it up so you can see what it looks like now so instead of filling the whole screen when I press and hold it shows up at the bottom I'm talking to it alright I'm gonna take it out let me ask you a question is it gonna rain tomorrow in New York it doesn't look like it's going to rain look at tomorrow. the way it response it responds with a little information on the top again instead of filling the entire screen so again if I was reading something or doing something on any other app I don't have to go out of that app I can look at the app and I can just quickly ask a question define mobility mobility right. means there we go so I can use a dictionary that way I don't have to exit the book or whatever I'm reading I can just ask you to define a word uh, for me fantastic now let's talk about the actual messages uh, not a lot is going on here but we do have a brand new option what we have now is we have the pinned messages option so let's say I want to pin a conversation to the top all I do is press and hold all right and just pin to the top boom it's gonna appear on the top right here so that's gonna be my favorite people or an important conversation I'm having right now if I want to unpin any conversation press and hold and I'm be able to unpin it it goes away now on top of this if I were to go in here uh, with the emojis or emojis we have some new things happening so let me just select an emoji we have some new styles so we have this guy right here for example uh, let me see this one right here the one with the fist that's a brand new option so any face you pick is also going to give you that option we have three of these guys somewhere I'm not sure exactly which ones are new but you do get three brand new emojis and memojis uh, on this we also have some new features with the maps application so if I launch the maps application it's hard to demonstrate but these are the new features so you have the look around feature you can explore certain cities like New York Los Angeles in a fully 3d uh, environment okay so it's gonna look amazing you can go to your favorites and collections from here you can actually create those and Siri is able to make suggestions based on the app usage so if I was in New York right now I could tap on look around here and you get a really nice uh, refined way to look around and just move around in the actual uh, city okay so you can act like you're virtually there as you're in New York so that's just fantastic okay again this is a feature that's been more refined looks better look at that you can actually feel like you're in the city so that's one of the new things with the maps application as well now when you go into Safari we have some new stuff so I'm at google.com here what I can do is I can tap over here and now what I get is I get a special tracking report for any website that I'm visiting 
and Safari will tell you how that website is actually tracking you guys. It also monitors your password securely so it's not involved in a breach and stuff like that. But again, that's the tracking report built into Safari that you might, some people that are concerned about their privacy are gonna love this stuff, okay? So that's another thing that's new. So we also have a brand new Translate application. So let me just launch it up real quick. So it's right here. Uh, on the top, we have a target language, okay? You pick the, um, I'm sorry, the source language, and then you pick the target language from here. And then basically you can either type something in, okay? I can uh, go in here, I can type something, hi, how are you? And I can say go, and that's gonna translate from source to target, and then on top of that, I can actually talk into it. So if I press, hey, do you know where's the closest restaurant? It's gonna translate from English to Spanish to the target language, and I can show this to the other person, and the other person can actually respond back to me. And by the way, I can tap on play. Hola, sabes, ¿dónde está el restaurante más cercano? It will actually play the translation to, so the other person doesn't have to even have to uh, read it. They can actually listen to it and respond back from here. And then they can reverse translate it to English for me and I can understand what they said as an answer. And of course, we have a bunch of other enhancements as well. Hard to demonstrate, but you get updates to the map application. You get updates to the Safari application. Uh, you get updates to the weather application. You get updates uh, to the Apple CarPlay application and so much more with iOS 14. But the biggest thing really is the widgets and the customizable uh, home screen and also the uh, app libraries. This makes life really easy. Like I said, if you want, you can simply tap and hold. Uh, let me go over here, press and hold, tap on this, hide all these home screens. Okay, you have to have one enabled. So that's only one enabled. And now I can swipe over and I can go to my app library. Okay, and again, press and hold, press on plus, add any kind of widgets, expand widgets for further designs. Okay, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.